Hello everyone, this is a bit of a weird one. I'm standing here on quite a busy park lane and I'm on my feet because I've sold the Audi and I'm here to pick up my new car. And as you can possibly see behind me, I'm at BMW, my first BMW, but I'm quite excited about it. Let's go inside. Right, I am inside BMW Park Lane, about to pick up my car, and I thought I'd just have a little look around the showroom before we go and see it. M4 in Java Green, it's pretty cool. Works well on this car. Here we are down in the bottom of BMW Park Lane and behind me we have my brand new M2. Have a little look around. Basically we've managed to get a new car that had already been specced so I couldn't choose everything but we're going to have a little look around the car and I'll show you around. I've been upstairs signing a bit of paperwork and I've come back down and <laughs> just looks so cool, it looks so mean. The shots shot on the Osmo are quite fisheye in it. They don't really do it much justice, but it, in the flesh this thing looks sick. Right, in the interior, it, there's not very many options. Black, blue stitching, that's about it with this kind of carpety type stuff. I do not have a manual. Peter, who is doing the handover of the car, has just shown me around the car and shown me a few little things. And I thought I would have a little quick look around and point some of the little bits out. Key, obviously. Unlock, lock, boot. If you double tap or tap and hold down the unlock, the windows will come down. So, now unlocked. The win with here, with the wing mirrors, if you lock it once, you stay out. But if you hold it down, it should go in. Which is quite neat, because quite often you might want to lock it, but not put the wing mirrors in, because it looks way better in pictures and whatever, all that kind of stuff. Obviously most people worry about that all the time. It's a bit of a photographer thing. When you're unlocked, this is open, locked, blah, blah, blah. In the boot, this is quite, there's all sorts of, little tie down things and stuff and clips and whatnot. But here, <laughs> there's two little hooks, essentially so you can put your shopping on um, when you've got some plastic bags or whatever. Because if you put them on a seat, they always slide out and put past. So you can just hang them there and they won't go anywhere. Well, that's quite neat. Uh, these are the tabs here to put the rear seats down. So you can put your stuff all the way in. Triangle. Double tap to open both doors. Just peeled off the protective cover there. In the interior on these is pretty much kind of all the same-ish. There aren't really many options. This is a, obviously black leather with blue stitching, which is the sort of normal one. It looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm quite excited. Old school handbrake, you can grip that, do some slides. The car is now outside, as it's BMW Park Lane, can't really do crazy 
there's just not a lot of space. So we're now on the street and I'm going to be showing a couple of the more techie things, which there's quite a lot of, I believe. And then it's off. Basically, you can lower and raise the seat here. You can adjust the back portion. Mirrors, left, right, and then you can just adjust them here. Mm -hmm. Headlight controls, so you can either leave it in automatic or on on or zero. Volume controls are right here. So whether you're talking Bluetooth, uh, audio or even the acoustic sounds of the seatbelt warning and then over to your left hand side your indicators and board to computer so on the actual indicator you have um, a BC button yeah sensor board computer so if you push it now you can see it toggles through different things like your miles per gallon unfortunately this car only gets seven miles per gallon <laughs> as you can see um, if you keep oh, okay. five miles an hour is the top speed as well yeah but it tells you basically your temperature your outside temperature, engine temperature, fuel range, so on a full tank you get 331 miles, which is actually quite good. Random little point. This here is independent of your normal settings. So say you you want it at 21, but you want it just a little bit more cold air, you play with this and it will change, but keep that the same. In the car. Just been basically just outside the dealership. Thank you everyone from BMW Park Lane. Uh, handover was great. I met this this guy Ali uh, Chizzy. He's a what do they call him? It's basically a BMW guru, and he knows absolutely everything about this car. And I think probably what I'll do is gonna have drive the car for a week or so, and then maybe go and meet up with him and then discuss some of the stuff because there's so many little things and menu stuff and little tricks like if you turn off the car and then pull the the light. It puts it on for sort of 120 seconds so that you can go to your house in in the lights. So, but other than that, let's, let's do a little start up, put it in sport because that's what we want. First drive in my M2. Quite excited. Off we go. This is my first BMW, which is kind of weird as a sort of car person, but I've just never really never really wanted one so far and then this car came out and everyone seemed to be having a great time and, <laughs> and here we are here i am 